Well, good morning everybody. This is the English guy in Mexico. <clears throat> it is the 15th of May 2016 and uh, I haven't done a video for about six weeks or so. Um, mainly because I've been really busy and things are getting to look pretty good around here. So I thought today we'd do a quick update of various things, probably mainly the fact that this shade cloth, so the first video will have been um, round about the middle of March, so eight weeks ago we put this shade cloth up because I'm desperately trying to grow stuff here in Mexico. It's extremely hot and I've figured, this is my third year here, <coughs> I've figured that nothing can really grow without some kind of shade. So let's... Uh, have a look, quick look at the temperatures. It is, we're in the shade here and next to the tree. It is 20, 28 degrees, so it's about 84 Fahrenheit. So a little bit overcast today, which is a nice day for doing some filming. Normally it's a bit too bright here. So this shade cloth, if you look at one of the previous videos, as I say, from or any of the previous videos from sort of late February, early March, you'll see there was nothing on this ground. This was pretty barren. We managed to get this shade cloth up. I've actually put a few more posts against the side because I'm up at altitude here and what happens is when the when the actual wind really gets up it starts to rip the sides. So uh, I have put one or two more metal posts. It may look a bit Heath Robinson to various people but it works because if you look in the middle of the underneath of the shade cloth it is phenomenal. This is, as I say, this is my, I'll get down and you can sort of have a look at the height of some of this stuff. This is a mixture of uh, sorghum, those are the broad leafed green things there, oats, beans and there's a few calabasas in the middle, pumpkins or melons or whatever you want to call them. And everything is growing, I've got a massive diversity of wildlife in here, in fact sometimes it's a bit scary sitting here in the afternoon watching stuff crawling around. It's full of insects, it's full of lizards. I try and keep the edges around it clear so I have to mow around the outside here. Unfortunately once you're out in the sun here just look at the soil. It's uh, a white calcium carbonate, nothing really grows here. This is just a spare bit of soil I had but under this shade cloth it is going phenomenally well. And what I've noticed, strangely enough, You'll notice on some of my other videos, I, I talk a lot about my urine, which sounds a bit weird to everybody, but I don't go to the toilet in the house at all in the day. I pee outside and I was wondering, I was stood here last week wondering why that middle row on the left of oats was literally, well, 50% higher than the rest. And it suddenly dawned on me that this was my outside toilet last year. It's a bit overgrown now, it's basically a tyre. If you check out any of my videos it explains I put tires around old rotten tree stumps and I used to pee in here and I think all my urine has come has sort of collected around there last year and now I've finally got the shade cloth up and planted stuff this is now easily uh, a meter high a meter high I'm going to uh, well I've already started actually taking the heads off some of these oats because in the sun they ripen very very quickly in fact you can see here they ripen they open up the hull and they literally spit out the seed so I lose it to the birds and I have no actually noticed I don't know if you can hear there are birds everywhere I've I've got I mean they're literally on all the wires look it, you know, this may not be unusual sort of in places, you know, in, in sort of uh, America where you get plenty of rain and stuff, but we're in the semi-desert here, look, there's birds everywhere. And I think what's happening is, I found three or four nests around the outside of the building here. In fact, we can go and show you one of them. I noticed this one last, in fact, there's a bird, look, there's the mother, I think, is sat on the wire, look. She's sat on the wire, and her nest is just, uh, she's seen me coming. Let's open this gate. Just while we're in here, I've got vines growing. You see the lizard running. We've just had a tiny little bit of rain, but I've got vines and I didn't plant this. These look like grapes. Just growing crazy. There's some 
sweet potatoes that I never dug up and they're gone they've gone wild they're running along the ground this is concrete under here anyway there's her nest she was sat right next to the nest and I've found through oh, there's another one sorry there's another one over in that corner as well and this is all last year's poo in the corner but yeah there's birds everywhere and I think they're coming because oh, look she's hovering she just saw me again and she's not happy She's wondering why I'm oh, all right I'm going I'm going they get quite angry I've noticed if other birds come and sit near their nest and they actually mob them so there's some quite big crows or blackbirds here so I don't know why we ended up talking about birds oh yeah that was because of the avena the oats the seeds are dropping onto the ground so what I do every day I sit out here in the afternoon it's too hot to do any work so I basically just get a bowl like this and these are all unholed oats there's different ways of collecting them <coughs> these are a little bit green which is why I turn them every day in the Sun <coughs> you basically just go along in the morning you pick a row it's probably not a good example because I did that row yesterday okay let's go under the shade cloth and do a little bit <coughs> basically I just pick a row I put my hand on the top of the thing and you can see there's one two three see, there's about 15 oats on there and then all I do is I strip it. Oops, sorry. And it's honestly that simple. There's your oats. Now obviously I've got to find a way to get the hull off or I'm thinking of grinding these up whole and either feeding them to chickens or just re-sowing these because remember the the reason I started doing all this is I'm trying to build some biomass here in the semi-desert. This is one acre here. So I've got a one acre behind me and I've got eight acres beyond that wall and I will do another video to show people how bad this soil is beyond that wall I've got another eight and there's nothing growing there apart from a very thin wiry grass that grows in clumps and nothing eats it not even the grasshoppers will touch it it's horrible stuff it's slightly spiky so uh, we're at altitude about 5,000 meters above sea level temperatures in the summer here which is why I sometimes I've noticed on my videos I tend to pant a bit it's because it's difficult to talk and breathe at the same time and no I'm not sick I'm never ever sick I never go to the doctor I'm never ill uh, touch wood gonna find some wood quickly so that goes in the bowl um, I've only got 26 seconds left so just while I'm here look shower outside uh, clean my teeth outside, a glass of water to spend all day out here, don't go in, pee on the ground, everything will grow. I'll do an update on the fruit trees, all the fruit trees are coming up, 10 seconds, straw bales breaking down, sorghum is now over a metre high, bye for now.